then we go to the next process is the cooling and freezing cooling we discussed in the beginning of the chapter we have to store our fresh milk raw milk at maximum 4 degrees C at 4 or lower why do we have to do that because when we lower temperature we lower the growth of microorganism because when we lower temperature when we lower the rate of chemical reaction we also lower the rate of enzymatic reaction and because of that then we can of these three effects we can then extend the cell line and this is the main objective of cooling cooling is to store the milk or milk product for a longer time by lowering lowering the effects of microbial growth chemical reaction and enzymatic reaction and there are some changes when we do cooling which you can just read here right now freezing freezing is even go down further in temperature to below the freezing point to below zero or to below minus zero 54 degree c for milk when we do freezing then we need to distinguish between slow freezing and fast freezing because this will actually influence a lot to the quality of the food after we do thawing after freezing we do thawing before using it so either slow freezing or fast freezing will influence a lot we discussed this already in previous course in meat technology also in food engineering if you can look again there for detail but here we just explain briefly so freezing is actually crystallization of liquid water into ice and then crystallization occur through two stages nucleation and crystal growth nucleation means formation of very small crystal and then the liquid form will further crystallize on this nuclear and make it larger larger okay makes it larger so this one is called crystal growth and the nuclear here is belong to nucleation these are the two important steps in crystallization or in freezing so when we do fast freezing here this is fast freezing when we do fast mean we reduce the temperature fast mean we have higher we call it super cooling degree when we have fast freezing then the nucleation is much higher than the crystal growth when we do slow freezing here slow freezing then you have more crystal growth than nucleation and what would be the result when you do slow freezing there is much more time for crystal to grow so you don't have many crystal but you have large crystal and then for fast freezing the nucleation is dominating so you have more crystal much more but the size is smaller higher number smaller size this is smaller number larger size and because you have lost crystal means that you have more impact to the food tractor you may break more the food tractor when you thaw more drip loss when the structure is more broken then the more liquid will be released when you do thawing for example okay and you do you have you call it cell dehydration the cells of food or the cells of microorganism will lose water during freezing as well we just look at uh, the previous course or food engineering okay so when we have fast freezing then even though we have so many crystal but they are too small and they form everywhere inside and outside of cells and homogeneously so 
they will not impact or they will not cause damage a lot to the texture of food. Now here, this one is using doing freezing, slow freezing of food, and this one is fast freezing. Even this one is super fast. It is flash, flash freezing even. Okay. So when we do slow freezing on the right side, and this is occur with meal. I draw another curve here so you can just be reminded with the previous course. If you do pure water, the curve will be like this. And this is for pure water, slow freezing. Then during freezing, during the conversion of liquid into ice, the temperature of pure water will not change, will be zero degree C. But for food, the temperature is going down, uh, reducing slowly during freezing step. Why? Because when more water become ice, then the concentration of solid of the soil component in the liquid water will increase. More when the concentration of solid in the remaining liquid water is higher, then the freezing point of that part of that liquid water will be reducing. That is why this one is going down. So freezing point of a food is not a constant during freezing step. It starts with a point, but then it will going down. And now when we do slow freezing of milk, for example, up to a certain point during the freezing stage, the temperature start to move up a little bit before it's going down. This happened because we call this co-crystallization of sugar. And the sugar in milk is actually lacto. Co-crystallization of lacto occur there. The same way like we explained here. What happened? Now, during freezing, the liquid water become ice means that the concentration of lacto in the liquid water will be increasing by time and up to a time when it's become the solution of lacto become super saturated over several times of saturation then the lacto will crystallize Lacto will crystallize means the soluble lacto will now become crystal of lacto. And this process actually release energy. Crystallization, you have to take out the heat. It releases the heat means that it will increase the temperature, the freezing point a little bit. You see from C to D, it will increase a little bit. Because crystallization releases heat. After that, it's still going down further because the, the temperature of the freezer is much lower, so it's keep going down. But during fast freezing, or very fast freezing, we do not observe the core crystallization of lacto. But during slow freezing, we have this. Okay. Now, upon fast freezing, a glassy state can be obtained. Glassy means... A uh, very small crystal of water will just block everything. The viscosity becomes very high. The system doesn't move anymore. It's like glass. It's like a glass. It's very brittle but high viscosity. The product in this form will be very stable if we keep them at low temperature. For example, below minus 28 degrees C. Then we have very long cell life. If we do slow freezing, the lacto may crystallize like I already said. When this frozen meal is thawed in the next step, aggregation of casein micelle may occur. When we do slow freezing, there are time for many changes to occur. The concentration of salt um, the ionic strength in the liquid water will be very high. It will influence protein, especially casein and other proteins as well. And that is why we may have the aggregation, I mean the casein myself will come together, uh, become aggregates. When we do rapid freezing, lacto does not crystallize. 
and even is acts at cryoprotectin means that it will protect the tectors of milk it will prevent the aggregation of case in my cell even so when we do fast enough freezing and when we thaw we obtain more or less like original milk but when we do slow freezing very slow freezing when we thaw the texture of milk may be not, not the same anymore however anyway freezing of milk is not applied widely uh, they don't really store raw milk in frozen condition some even dairy and milk products we don't normally store in the frozen condition but however freezing can be applied to do concentration in the other part we study about concentration 